This is the voice of disruption. It's Ken Rakowski, voice of disruption. We, of course, get to meet some of the most amazing people and how they've disrupted themselves, plus what they're doing inside their business. One of my favorite people on the entire planet, the known universe, is Puna Mahajer. I've met Puna, I think, about eight years ago, <laughs> and she has wowed me every time I've hung out with her. She has disrupted herself, and of course, she is traveling the planet with her really cool company called Toki Doki, which we'll learn about in a moment. But Puna, it's great to have you here. Look Thank at me. You. Talk to me. How are you? Look into my eyes. Look into your eyes. Yes. How are you, Ken? I'm great. So, Puna, <laughs> give me three words that describe you. You are. Uh, friendly. Absolutely. <laughs> um, caring. Okay, can I add uh, genuine? And I want to add uh, the whole idea of a disruptor. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, it's you. true. You know, you, you you have created multiple companies. You've exited those companies. You've worked with family. You've worked with friends. Uh, you've seen the gamut of business. Do you agree? I agree. I've right? seen a lot. And right still now, seeing it. You're still seeing it, right? <laughs> yes. And the current company called Toki Doki, which sounds like it's your lifelong venture now because you love it so much. I do love it. How do you describe Toki Doki? Oh, wow. Toki Doki is just... Uh, it's a visual feast. I, I don't know how. It is. To, I don't know it's, how to. It's an eyegasm, it. right? It's, it's a phenomenon, really. It's an eyegasm. <laughs> it's definitely a phenomenon. I think. I think that. Now, don't take that. it wrong, but I always say it's the next iteration of Hello Kitty. That's no, the that's way. a huge compliment. But that's what I and that's how I, I describe mean, it. I mean, we admire Hello Kitty. If we can just get a little bit of that market share, we'd be really happy. <laughs> Which you are. You're. You're. No offense to Hello Kitty. <laughs> but you're a global phenomenon. You yes, have we're uh, growing. locations all over the planet. We're growing. You're very active at Comic Cons. Yes, which is actually, my business partner Simone is at an Indonesia Comic Con as right we now. speak. Right now. Right now. Yeah, and we have another Comic Con going on in London, so we have another everywhere. Yeah, we're 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 expanding. We're we're spreading our Toki Doki love. But to get to this point, you have gone through multiple businesses. I have. One of the businesses you did, I think you sold for, uh, sold to, was it Sephora, I think? We sold it to Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Yeah, it was Hard Candy Cosmetics. And that was a collaboration between you and your sister. My sister and I started that company, yes. Did you ever envision it to be what it became, or was that through the process of the journey? Um, I think that was through the process. It, and it, it was just, it was so organic. You know, we stumbled upon something, and it resonated with a very wide audience. and. And all the pieces kind of were in place for us to mm -hmm. grab that opportunity and run with it. So was it a fast sell, or did it take years and no, years? No, it was fast. We sold. We only had it for four years. And that's really quick. That's very <laughs> fast. And it was trying to manage a bucking bronco. <laughs> it literally was, right? Yeah. No, seriously. And my sister was 22, and I was 29 when we started it. So it was pretty challenging for us. Now, Toki Doki, of course, a different type of business. What have you learned from the last businesses that you've created to now? What are you integrating and doing differently? Um, one of the main things that I've learned is to really trust my gut. You know, I started out as a young entrepreneur mm -hmm. and I had a lot of people, um, just because of our age, they underestimated us and they questioned us consistently. And, you know, it might have also been that we were women in business and we were young women. Um, and now I just, I trust myself more. And if something, I trust my gut. And if my my heart and my brain are telling me something, you know, there, it's, it's something is not right. I need to figure out what. Could we I call need, that intuition? I suppose you could, but it's Why intuition not? with, um, uh, you know, it's also, it also is mired in your education and your exposure to. It's just time has given you all these tools that time. automatically have reflexes to make you do this. Yes, things. time, experience, mm. education. I don't think that we ever stop learning. We always have to keep pushing ourselves to learn as much as we can because you ne you're never going to get to a point that never. you know everything. Puna Mahajer is joining us. This is the voice of disruption. Uh, Puna's company is called Toki Doki, her current company. Um, I was told that the entrepreneur inside us gets bored every three to four years. Every three to four years. Either you're looking for something new or you need to reinvent what you have. What do you think about that? Well, I, I definitely believe that that's very interesting. Um, I think I, I think that that resonates with me. I mean, I've been lucky with Toki Doki in that 
we keep getting to the next level. You know, we set our sights, we have certain goals and ambitions, and we get to that next level. And the opportunities for this property and the intellectual property that lives inside my current company is so vast and wide. You know, we do everything from high-end furniture to collectible vinyl toys to cosmetics. Now we're going into content development. So there's, I'm constantly challenged. I mean, there's no room for boredom right You're now. You're constantly reinventing. We're constantly reinventing, yeah. and you have to to stay relevant, okay. especially in this environment. So I have this speed dial of impressive people on my phone when I want to go, look who I know, okay? And you're one of those individuals. So when I'm hanging around- You're somebody, one of those in individuals. I'm being serious. Thank I do you. FaceTime with you, and I actually say, <laughs> yeah, this is Puna, check her out, okay? <laughs> because I find you to be one of those change makers that really does- one, you mentor tons of people. You give back to a community. You're very active in the entrepreneur community. I am. Okay? I sit on, yes. You sit on tons of boards and, and groups like that. If you're talking to people that are about to venture into the business world, what truthful things do you need to tell them? Even though it might be difficult or it might hurt. Is business easy? No. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. There, it's a challenge. It's a constant challenge. Okay. Yeah, and, and the challenges change based on the life cycle of your business. Um, but I love it. It's, it's just, it's fascinating, it's exciting. So you since you do have a global brand, yeah. and you have different cultures that you have to deal with, the way you're perceived here in the United States uh, as being a, women a woman entrepreneur, it's different when you go to other cultures where women are challenged a little more. How do you fight through that? Well, I have a, it's not just me, I have a business partner mm -hmm. and he's a man. So right. um, I personally have not really felt a challenge based You've on- You never felt that? I, I haven't, Okay. but I don't know if that's just my personality and I'm, you know, I was raised to compete with men and women. They're the same. Well, that's how I was raised. Got it. I mean, my mother was, I went to an all girls private school for six years and then seventh grade, my mom's like, okay, you need to learn how to compete with boys. <laughs> she dropped you in <laughs> and yeah. that was it. She's like, yes. Okay. I'm like, okay, I need to, I need to learn how to compete. <laughs> You've done really I'm well. Right. <laughs> yeah, but you're, the way you act is very different than other women. You know, you're, 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 a, 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 you're a gladiator. <laughs> you're a gladiator when you get out there, right? Because I know that I was a sexist pig when I was young until I had a daughter. And the wow. world changed for me. Wow. Because I want her to run the world. I don't want her to have obstacles. I want her to run the world. <laughs> but you understand I what I'm saying. I need more people world. like you that there are there oh, to I'll inspire. I'll be helping her, her run the world. Oh, I like that. But I need you, I need you to inspire this young group of women entrepreneurs that are saying, I'm gonna take on the world. That makes me happy. I want to inspire young men too, and everyone. You know, I really do. Okay. I, I mean, I do, but I do particularly want to support young female entrepreneurs, and I, I appreciate the fact that I mean, I it makes me happy that young women can look at me as a role model because I looked at other women when I was growing up, and I was like, wow, I want to be like her. I want to be a business owner. I, it was very, you know, I identified with them, and I thought if they can do it, I can do it. Right, which you have, Tokidoki dot. IT. IT, that's right. Tokidoki.it. You got a couple of cool little products on here. What do we have? The so this is our boxes. new, um, these are the breakfast besties. We're doing a collaboration starting Saturday, the 28th. Okay. It runs all month at um, Fred 62, which is an iconic LA restaurant. It's been around for over 20 years. Yummy. Open 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. And uh, we've got a special menu that's been curated by Chef Fred Eric, and we're because really it's excited. Because it's Tokidoki craziness. You, yes, and you can get, you know, we're doing like a little custom T-shirt. I love it all. Look at it's that. It's fun, 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 fun stuff. Thank you for the plug. No, hey, I'm, I'm <laughs> always do it. I love all your stuff. It's crazy. Matter of fact, I love when you give me stuff because it makes a great gift for me to give somebody else. So keep on giving okay, it to me. No problem. Puna, your magic secret sauce is, I believe, you disarm people with your smile and your friendliness. Thank you. But you use that as a tool to get information out of other people, okay? No, I honestly like people. <laughs> I know, but you do disarm people. Okay, good. Because, and, and I'm wondering, if you can teach somebody on the other side, what does it take to really genuinely want to know people? What do you do? Or is it just natural for you? I think that it's, a, it's 
it's authentic. I mean, it, it comes from the heart. It does come from yeah, the heart. Yeah, it comes from your heart. And you care enough to always make meetings, to hang out, do lunch, do dinners with the people you care about. You keep your circle very tight. I try. <laughs> and that circle is probably part of your power, your energy, is that strong circle of trusted friends you yeah, have. I, I wouldn't be able to do what I do without my friends. There's no way. So do you believe in the, the old saying that you are the average of the five people you share time with? I do. Right? Yeah. So if you have somebody that's not all that good, get rid of them? Yeah. Replace them with somebody better? Well... You've done this. I mean, that's a very all-encompassing statement. I don't know if... But you've done this. I know you've done it. You've gotten rid of people that were diseased or bad around you and replaced them. It might be painful, but it's something you got to do, right? Yeah, I think that you should keep positivity around you. You want to you keep your energy positive because okay. it's challenging. Last question for you. You get to have lunch with anybody in the world that's living today. Oh, my gosh. Who would it be? Come on. You've already had lunch with me, so you can't pick me. I can't pick you? you can't How did pick you know me? that that's what I was thinking? <laughs> I'm looking at your eyes. Oh I know what you're doing. Oh, my gosh. It wouldn't be the average. It wouldn't be the Zuckerbergs, Elon Musk, any, anything like that. Boy, I thought I would have given you like a, like a, a softball to you. No, yeah. this is a very difficult question. <laughs> I need time to think All about right. it. We don't have enough time. I'm we sorry. don't have enough time. Puna Mahaj, if you want to find out more, it's pretty easy. You're going to go to tokidoki. <laughs> IT and, for Italy. <laughs> and get ready for all the seasons that are out there. You have something for them. Watch Puna herself. She's been featured in so many great publications and actually online and on t television. So Puna, I love that you're hanging out with us. Thank you for having me. Tokidoki.com. We're all, always looking at what's going on when it comes to uh, entrepreneurs and change makers on the planet. Puna is just a sample of the quality of people we have with us. So stay tuned, hang out with us. I'm Ken Rakowski. You've been hanging out with Puna Mahajer and me. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>